Amazing. Hello, I'm Richie Drifts, this is The Joe Film Show, and let's swan dive straight in with the trailers of the week. Let's be honest, the most talked about trailer of the week is without a doubt Ant-Man and the Wasp. Evangeline Lilly finally getting her own superhero suit, and Giant Man popping out of the sea also is going to get us hyped regardless. But following Avengers Infinity War, we just want to know how it fits into the universe after Thanos shockingly destroyed we all know what the best film version of Robin Hood is. Thank you very much. Not yours, Kevin. No, not yours, Russell. It's actually the one with the cartoon fox. That was just a bit of a lark, little John. But this year, Kingsman's Taron Egerton will become the latest actor to take on the role. The film will also feature support from both Jamie's Fox and Dornan. But the Twitter sphere has taken a particular interest in the very modern jackets. It's supposed to be set in the 12th century, but just look at the stitching on that hood. Now, if you don't want to see one of the BMOF superhero releases, fair enough, there are more than enough equally brilliant films to choose from. Here's a rapid rundown of what you need to see. Placing a moving image in real time. Clive Owen plus Amanda Seyfried plus a totalitarian oppressive future equals Anon, the new sci-fi thriller from the director of Gattaca and In Time. Expect both social satire and shootouts. You can't look back. We have her kids. Now, She's desperate. If you fancy something a tiny bit more realistic, how about Breaking In? This brilliantly cheesy looking thriller stars Gabrielle Union as a badass single mum who goes full Liam Neeson to save her kids. Remember the end of Shaun of the Dead when they wanted to reintegrate zombies with human society? Dead! Yeah, of course you do. That's the plot of The Cured with Ellen Page. Could you take one in? They're murderers, a lot of them. And spoiler, it doesn't go well. They want us all dead. We have to stop them. And finally, if you were looking for a 70s set teen romance about aliens and punks trying to save the world, starring Nicole Kidman and Elle Fanning, you're in luck. As How to Talk to Girls at Parties is this week's other big release. Still in UK cinemas is Mary and the Witch's Flower, the astonishingly beautiful debut film from Japanese animation house Studio Ponok. Ponok is made up of former members of the legendary Studio Ghibli, and Mary and the Witch's Flower definitely lives up to that extremely high standard. It's a film that deserves to break out from the usual anime fandom. But where to go from there? Here are three movies that prove that Japanese cartoons aren't just giant robots and magical schoolgirls. The latest film from Ghibli founder Hayao Miyazaki, The Wind Rises, proves animation can handle real-world stories just as well as it can fantasy. Nanda. A genuine phenomenon in its homeland, Your Name basically broke every box office record ever in Japan, beating the Avengers Avatar and, yeah, even Star Wars, a magical love story about two teenagers who mysteriously switch bodies. You will cry, and this is Guaranteed. Now, did you like Inception? Of course you did, you have taste. Then you should probably watch the film that Christopher Nolan borrowed all his ideas from. Paprika is about a doctor who develops a technology allowing her to jump between her patient's dreams. You have literally never seen anything like this film. Dave, do you mind if I ask you a personal question? No, not at all. This week's must-see film is 2001 Space Odyssey. I've wondered whether you might be having some second thoughts about the mission. Blade Runner, Moon, Interstellar and Solaris are just some of the classics that have been influenced by the 1968 masterpiece. Rumours about something being dug up on the moon. This year sees the 50th anniversary of Kubrick's Space Tour de Force and its return to cinema in its original, unedited form. Do not miss it. Open the pod bay doors, Hal. I'm sorry, Dave. I'm afraid I can't do that. This was the Joe Film Show. I've been Richard Driss. You've been new. We've all had a great time. But next time, I'll still be Richard Driss. And you'll hopefully still all be you. And this will still